Um, for everyone who is new to my channel or just watching this video, my name is Reagan Campbell and I am a personal stylist located out of Philadelphia. Um, just a little bit about styling, um, emphasis on personal stylists. And the reason why I specify that I'm a personal stylist is because um, when you're doing event styling or like what celebrity stylists do, and you're dressing someone for a major event, you are not thinking of <laughs> how long this is going to last in your closet, how many other wears you're going to get from this clothes, from this, you know, dress or whatever it is that they're putting on you. Um, that men mental process is not put into that because again, you're wearing this for a specific event. I'm not saying it's more or less work, but just saying that you're, you're thinking on a deeper level for your client. So my company is called C-Suite Styling. And again, I focus on advancing and styling women of color in business. So today I'm here to discuss something that comes across a lot when I'm doing um, appointments with my clients and also something that I myself have recently noticed. Um, I think it's crazy how sometimes <laughs> you, you're, you're used to telling people stuff and when you realize that either you have or you have not been doing it, it's almost like an epiphany. Um, thank goodness, in my case, I actually have been doing what I've been preaching to my clients for the past three years, and that is creating a sustainable closet. When we say a sustainable closet, we are referring to a closet that can last through different seasons of your life. So that could be if you were to lose weight, if you were to gain weight, if you had something special or something, you know, out of the ordinary go on. So like for me, um, I am seven months pregnant. That's not out of the ordinary, but not everybody plans, plans to be pregnant when they become pregnant. So it can be kind of a shock. Um, and then you're wondering, okay, do I have to buy maternity clothes? That's what I was wondering. Um, can my clothes, you know, go beyond what the size I am right now? So a sustainable closet is a closet that again, can take you through different seasons that your body goes through naturally. And um, it allows you to be comfortable as well. So with COVID, <laughs> I know everybody's tired of saying it, tired of hearing it, but honest to God, COVID has fluctuated a lot of our weight due to stress, due to eating, due to being more sedimentary, or you could have had the opposite experience. You know, you could have decided that you want to do more because you were in a house all day. So you might have lost weight during COVID. You might have lost weight during this summer when everybody was outside. So again, you want clothes that can take you through all these different levels of activity that you naturally do. Having a sustainable closet helps you save money. <laughs> it might seem like it's a lot up front because of the items or the certain things that you're looking for, which we'll get into later on in this video. Um, but in the long run, you do end up saving money. <laughs> also, it helps with confidence. I know with my entire experience of being seven months pregnant, the simple fact that certain things that I have still look good on me, it doesn't look this, and this is another thing, it might not look the same from when you were whatever size you were when you purchased it, but we wanted to still flatter your body and still look good. So there have been a lot of things that look different on me, but they look good. So that's also what we're looking for as well when we discuss a sustainable closet. So the number one thing that we're gonna be looking for when we are building our sustainable closet is items that have stretch and give to them. And these are items that, you know, no matter how many times you wash them, they retain and keep the same shape. So a great example is like what I have on right now. This is a Bodycon vest. It doesn't go all the way down. It's literally just a shirt. Um, and you'll see when I pull out, it has give. Um, it's thick enough. This is another thing <laughs> that we're gonna get into later with quality fabrics. You see how I'm pulling it and you still can't see through my shirt? <laughs> That's important. 
um, because there are some items where, you know, you're pulling it, you know, and it stretches, but you can see through it. Um, we're not looking for that. <laughs> we're looking for items that, again, you know, have some quality to it. And do not think that in order to get that quality, you have to necessarily shop at a high-end store. This shirt was purchased from eBay for $12. <laughs> um, I just can, because I've been doing this for so long and even prior to dressing people, you know, I was always interested in outfits, you know, people always knew me for how I dressed. Um, I can just see something online or look at the reviews and zoom into the fabric and can tell whether or not um, if it's something that's worth your $12 or your $24 or whatever. So it comes with time, but um, this is a great example of something that has give and something that has stretch. I also have two bodycon dresses. Um, and I'm using bodycon items because those items are usually the ones that have that elastic in there or the elastane or has that cotton blend that has the stretch to it that we're referring to. Bodycon dress, you know, you put it in the washing machine, it comes out, it looks exactly the same as when you first purchased it. So both of these dresses, I, I think I, I, I bought them back in 2006. 17 2017 2018 within that time frame and they both look drastically different because of the fabric so this is the first one I'm gonna show you it's the khaki khaki color bodycon dress it has like a little sheen to it again you know very you know clean Again, it's been since 2017, 2018, and you don't see any any wear and tear other than that stain <laughs> on the fabric. Then we have this, and I don't even wear this anymore, but I'm glad I didn't throw it out so I can show it to you all here. This on the other hand is another bodycon dress that is also a cotton blend. It doesn't have that sheen though that the khaki one had. I look for that sometimes. I look for that sheen because it lets me know. I wish I knew fabrics like off the back of my hands, but I don't. I'm not sure what gives it this sheen to it and it feels different, but it's also a cotton blend. But whatever that extra strain of fabric is, <laughs> This one does not have it. And you can and you see how you see all that pilling. If I'm saying that right, I'm gonna pop up the word so y'all know what I'm talking about. But that's when like little balls of lint accumulate. There we go. On your clothes after you wash them and whatnot. This is not what we want. <laughs> when we're looking for items that again have give. And still look good on you know whatever body type that you have um, whether or not you wear an undergarment or not we're not looking for this this is this is not quality whatsoever we're looking for this we're looking for you know again no pilling actually looks good it had is thicker meaning that when it stretches on you you can't see your draws Ooh, emphasis on you can't see your draws. Because <laughs> that's one thing about Bodycon. Sometimes it, it's tight on you. But... So again, emphasis on in order for you to buy quality does not mean you have to go to high-end spots that everyone is going crazy about. Because that um, army green Bodycon dress I had, that was purchased from Boohoo, which is a more renowned online you know, store. And then that khaki dress was purchased yet again from eBay. And when I be telling my clients that I'm getting them something from eBay, they're like, why? Why, why, are, we, why are we doing eBay? And I'm just like, I know that you've been conditioned <laughs> to not think that you can find quality items on eBay or even at your local thrift store, but you will be very surprised of the quality fabrics that you can find at both. And you'll pay, you know, either more 
or sometimes you know because boohoo can be cheap um or the same price at boohoo and you're getting something that doesn't last long you know thank you fast fashion <laughs> that that plays a lot into why you know we're so stuck on these stores like Shein and all the mother spots and then you get these clothes that last about three washes and then it's trash <laughs> so um fast fashion has a big play in that and if you don't know what fast fashion is i'm not going to get into it today because i have a full-on rant but it's it's taking the industry by storm right now so on your free time with that i love 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 um oversized items that is our number two for um, building a sustainable closet that has items that have a longer shelf life oversized shirts sweaters sweater dresses because there's so much room for you to grow um you can literally <laughs> wear it throughout you know your body changes so let's say you buy an oversized shirt that um you know as you lost weight you would just cinch it with you know a waist belt or um is it a corset you can cinch the item on you so it can have more of a fitted look let's say the opposite happens you know you've been doing it already and now you're bigger or you're like me pregnant <laughs> and you put on this oversized item and boom now it still fits it looks different than what was cinched on you but it still fits you because again it was already made to be bigger than what you were so oversized items, I am all for all the time. Um, people don't think when they purchase them, how it's gonna look on them as they fluctuate, but they're really, really, really good. So again, oversized items. Number yes. three, um, specially placed elastic or elastane on um, clothing. I have two examples here. When I usually see special place elastane, it's either under the arm, um, in the tummy area, when we talk about shoes, in the back of the calves. I think people forget that when your weight fluctuates, it also affects your legs, not just your you know, upper body, but also your lower body. So um, I know you probably all have seen, if not look it up, when there is elastic placed on the back of some boots or something or the straps that are on heels instead of it just being just straight out fake leather or leather it's an elastic band um, that does again <laughs> give your ankles and your calves and your lower body room to grow so I have one of my favorite leather jackets here and what we're going to see is what I was referring to with the special place elastic under the arm um i'll be seeing stuff like this and the contrast and fabric is a look <laughs> um but also just the simple fact that it's placed under the arm you know is also to strategically give you room to grow because our arms grow so you know if you invest in something like this where it's really built for if you were to shrink or you were to grow, um, that would be perfect. And you see how it goes all the way down to the sides so that if you need to zip in it, and again, you have either gained or lost weight, it still looks good. And then I have my other favorite jacket here. And this one has done it a little bit more common um, that I see other than the elastane that's placed in specific locations. And that's with the extra fabric in the zipper. So like with this, when you unzip in it, you know, it has more fabric here. I thought it was more. <laughs> I think I have another jacket where when you unzip in it, it's like all this fabric and it has all this space for you to grow. Um, but some jackets, they have it like all the way up the arm. And again, it's strategically placed. So one, you know, zippers on leather look good so you're not thinking twice about it. Or we're looking for clothes that are literally made to evolve with your body. Number four, we have discussed this throughout the video and this should emphasize how important this is for you to invest in quality items. 
um, and also quality undergarments. So again, please don't assume that quality means that it is expensive or quality means that it is at a specific store. If you need help, of course, differentiating, you know, good long lasting fabrics um, against the other, I highly suggest that you hire a stylist <laughs> because that is what we focus on. Um, again, specifically a personal stylist. We can help you with that journey. Um, but you can also learn yourself by looking at YouTube videos like this. Um, just you know, noticing things in your closet, just taking more time to learn you know, what works well for you and your body over time in your closet and what has literally lasted like maybe a summer or one year or two years. And then when we're talking about undergarments, um, we're talking about, um, you know, tank tops that you put on under your shirts, your bra, your drawers. Um, I tell my clients all the time, you can never go wrong with solid color undergarments, whether that's solid black, solid nude, solid, you know, whatever color. Um, I emphasize the solids because it helps with the whole thing we were discussing earlier. When you put something tight on or you put on something and you bend over and your whole ass is out. <laughs> or we can see your, you know, your bra or whatever because um, you got some crazy colors going on. Or you got unicorns on your butt. You know, that, that it makes a difference. Even like with this, you know, this is a thicker fabric in general. But you really can't see my undergarments because it's black, you know. So emphasis on solid color undergarments. Um, what specific fabric you want varies. I know some people like lace. I don't do lace. I don't do lace. <laughs> I am a cotton all day person. I don't do the elastic draws either. That doesn't work well for me breathing wise down there. But again, you want to do something that's solid that will help you, you know, not have to specifically look for a certain type of, you know, draws or, you know, shirt to wear under your garment, to wear under your clothes. So emphasis on quality fabrics. We discussed that throughout this entire video. And now you understand quality undergarments as well that are mostly solid color. All right. So last but certainly not least. Please, please, please try it on. <laughs> You're like, oh, you did all that just to say that? But you will be so surprised how many people just have it in their mind that something doesn't fit and they don't even try it on first. So, you know, and this goes back to confidence. You know, some people don't want to, they don't want to try on their favorite dress that they wore when they were size, whatever, because They've already, I look different. It's not going to look the same on me. It's not going to look good on me, so I'm not even going to put it on. Please don't get into that mindset because there are so many things in my closet that look so good on me. Some stuff even looks better, you know, with my whole belly, you know, being protruded because I'm pregnant. Um, so don't sell yourself short. Don't go ahead and just start buying stuff because you assume that whatever you have on is already, or whatever you're used to wearing, is already not gonna look good. So don't don't fall into that no confident hole. Um, try it on, like please. And when, and if you do try it on and you don't like it, and if it actually doesn't, you know, have your ass showing or anything like that, then um, play with it. There are so many tops that I put on my maternity pants with. Like, you know, cause some of my tops, you know, they were like, they're oversized, but they might've been a little cropped. So I don't want to bother my belly hanging out, you know, now that I have a baby in there. So I put my little, you know, my little maternity pants on, to, you know, to help with the gap where I put my belly band on and boom, it still looks good even though it's a cropped sweater or whatever. So play with it, you know, give yourself that, ability to not have to purchase stuff that you might not even want later so try it on don't sell yourself short please don't i really hope all these tips and tricks will help you shop better for yourself as we're transitioning into a new season 
I know for me, where I am in Philadelphia, we are going from summer to fall. My favorite season. Oh, I love it so much. But, um, you know, we're in that transition. And a lot of us are in transitions in life. You know, we're like seasons. We change over time. So this is really to help you, you know, figure out what works best. Figure out, you know, um, how to save more money. Don't be quick to throw away things. Don't be quick to count things out. Give yourself in your closet a second chance. Also to push you to hire a stylist if you haven't thought of it yet. <laughs> or for you to, again, just pay more attention to your clothes. There's some people out there who really don't need a stylist. They just need to pay more attention <laughs> to what they purchase. So that could be you. Um, again, I hope that I was able to help you with your journey and make it simpler, make it better. Um, I will be posting more informational videos. I don't have a time frame because me and YouTube have a weird relationship. <laughs> But definitely subscribe to me if you're a, if you're ever you know interested in whatever I got going on. Thanks and have a great time. I don't know. Have a great one. <laughs> Bye.